What's up guys, this is Adit from Tech is Easy and in today's video I'm going to show you how to limit the number of responses in a Google form. So let's say that you've created a form for some event which only has a limited number of seats and you don't want the responses to go over the number of seats. In this video I'm going to show you how to do that. So now let's get started. So first I'm just going to open that form. So let's say it's this form. So I've opened it and now what you've got to do is click on the three dots which are over here. After that you've got to click on add-ons and then click on this button which is under form limiter. So basically what you've got to do is you've got to install this add-on onto Google Forms and this has many other options as well. So over here you can just see you can limit the maximum number of responses then you can set custom notice when closed. After that, you can close the form at a specific time and date. So if you want to stop registration, say 12 hours before the event, then you have all of those options over here. Then you can also link this with Google Sheets. So this add-on will be extremely helpful for this. So just install this. Click on continue. You'll have to give them some permissions. After that, click on allow. And now it's getting installed. So now you can see that there's a pop up on the bottom right. And over here under limit type, you've got to select what you want to change. You can either set a limit on the date and time, then the number of responses, or the spreadsheet cell value, which we we'll leave for now we can just go through the number form responses in the date and time. So first I'll show you the number form responses. So click on that. And now over here you'll have to add a value. So this will stop accepting form responses when the responses are greater than. So over here if I put 50 then once the 50th person has submitted this form this will stop accepting any more responses. And then you can also just enter a message over here. So then over here you can just type anything that you want. Then you can also decide if you want to send an email when all the submissions are closed. So now I'll just click on save and enable. And now you can see that it's saved. So I'll close this for now. Now let's say if you want to make any changes. If you want to change the number of responses from 50 to 70. Then to do that just click on this add-ons icon over here. Under that, go to form limiter, then just click on set limit. So this, this box has come back and now from 50, I can make it 70. And again, just click on save and enable and now it's done. If you want to decide when the form can be submitted, so if you want to only really allow it, say from today and till three days from now. Then to do that, again just click on add-ons, then form limiter, set limit, and now under limit type, you've got to select date and time. So over here, it's written stop accepting form responses when a due date is set on. Just select the date. So if you want to s stop accepting responses, say from 13th then click on that and then you can also select a time so if you want to stop it at 12 p.m. p.m. and click on set so now on 13th May at 12 p.m. they'll stop accepting any more responses and again the same way and again the same way you can send a message and an email so now I'm going to click on save and enable again So now just to try if this is working, I'm going to stop this one minute from now and see if it works. So I'll go to 10th. Then currently you can see that it's 1.38. So I'll just put it for 1 p.m. and 40. So I'll click on set and I'll just click on save and enable. So now after 1.40, I'll just try and 
fill this form and let's see what what error it shows us it's 1 41 pm and let's see if it's working so i'm quickly going to open this form using another account so i'm going to copy the url and now i'll go to another account and i'll paste it over here So now you can see that the error has come that this form is no longer accepting responses and has been set to automatically close by this email ID. So this is the error which will be shown to all the people who respond after the deadline or if the form has reached the maximum responses limit. So I hope this video helped you and if you have any other questions you can comment below. If you haven't subscribed already then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you can also follow me on Instagram, I've put the link in the description. Thank you for watching.